bring it in for the one, the only, my big sister, Denise Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you all ready for a story? Yeah. yeah. Bring it on. Could you please read Cinderella? Mm-hmm. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Cinderella, and she lived with three kings. Till the prince lifted her, covered in ashes, onto his white horse, and they rode to the castle and got married and lived happily ever after. Let me get this straight. She ran from him? Twice. Yeah, twice. And even when he came to her house, she was still waiting to be called upon to try on the shoe. That's right. He saved her from her terrible life and her wicked stepmother and stepsisters. If that were me and I had been granted a trip to the ball with mice that turned into horses, I would have seized that opportunity the first time. Yeah, and who does he think he is coming to her house? She left you twice, dude. Read the writing on the wall. My issue with it is that the stepmother tries to saw off the heels and toes of her daughters so that they can fit in the shoe and keep Cinderella cleaning the whole time. Why do we as women have to hold each other back? Can't we just elevate one another to a higher emotional level instead of focusing on the confines that society puts on us? I agree, Roberta. And going back to the beginning, why do we always need fairy godmothers? You know, someone to fix our lives. We're in control. We have the power to be who we want to be. You go, girl. Tell him, sister. Now, who wants to watch Frozen? Woo! Play